If not, the question on adoption of the resolution. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The resolution is agreed to. Concludes the business meeting. We'll go now resume our hearing. And back to Senator Holly. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh, there we go. Just waiting for my time to be reset. All right, Mr. Kumar, back to you. We were talking about transformers, and I was about to ask you if you know what percentage of the U.S. electric grid contains components, components that are manufactured in China. You're getting that data. Senator Hawley, th thank you for the question um, and appreciate your recognition that we really need to be focused on the China threat when it comes to the grid equipment, both hardware and software that is deployed across the United States. Um, where we have been really focused on is four different areas here. One is we need to understand what are those critical components that if disrupted could have a debilitating impact on the United States. The second area where we're focused on is establishing provenance. Yes. So really understanding what's in this equipment, what's in um, the, the, the subcomponent level, and what pieces are um, potentially from an adversarial nation like a China. The second area where we're a third area where we're focused is testing. So we're testing some of this equipment down to the chip level and down to the software level in partnership with the DOE National Laboratories. And then finally, we're getting education and awareness out to the sector. Um, that's where our focus of our effort is right now, and we're doing some of that analysis currently, and we're happy to brief you on some of that work. So does, does that mean you don't know? You, you don't know what percentage of the grid contains components manufactured in China? So, sir, there's a number of components that are um, built. The hard part about some of these questions is, you know, at the top level, it could be uh, it looks like an American manufacturer or a friendly country. That's why I'm asking is, you. The reality is when you go down to the subcomponent level is where it gets a lot harder. So our focus is really looking at all of that equipment, and we're now doing that analysis right now to see what pieces of equipment have some of these concerning areas. Now, the, the reality... Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yep. So, so I'm certain my time is limited here, but I just want to... So you don't, it sounds like you don't know. When do you think you might know? You say you're doing the analysis. When will, you, when will it be done, and when will we find out? Sir, we are doing a broad analysis on what are the critical components in the sector, and what do we need to be prioritizing when it comes to some of our testing, and we're taking a risk-based approach. The, the reality is... But, while, but when, while, when will you know? When will you know what you... Uh, so, I didn't think this would be very hard. I, I asked you what percentage of the grid contains components manufactured in China. You don't know, but you say you're, you're looking at it. I just want to know when you're going to be done. When are we going to know? So, so, sir, it's a complex question. As you know, the grid is very, it has a thousands and, and, and of, of hardware uh, date. and software. I'm looking for a date. I'm looking for a date. You're exhausting my patience now. Well, when are you going to be done with the analysis? Sir, I think the, so the one thing we have to remember is when you have an analysis like this, China may not just choose to exploit equipment they're developing. They may choose to de exploit equipment that is developed by someone else if it has a vulnerability. Oh my gosh, we I feel like I'm on the Senate floor. This is like a filibuster. Okay, um, I'll give this to you for the record. Let me, let me try something else. <laughs> what percentage of large power transformers are manufactured in China? Do you know that? So currently that number is not as high. We're doing it in a, a Well, wait a minute. You, you, you just told me a second ago you don't have any idea what the number is. So when you say it's not as high, what, what are we even talking about here? The United States is not purchasing as many large power transformers as it was back in the day. Uh, this back in the day? What does that even mean? So, we, so the, what I find is a lot of the utilities themselves recognize the China risk, and they themselves are not purchasing these large power transformers. Well, what percentage China? are manufactured in China of our large power transformers? Do you, do you know? It's fine if you don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to get answers here. You just we, say, I don't know, I, and then I'm going to ask you when you're going to know. Just I, I'm happy to get go. back with you on that answer, sir. Okay. Um, okay. I find this really quite baffling. Um, this leads me to ask why it is that this administration suspended the last administration's executive order that restricted the procurement of foreign electric equipment. That was Executive Order 13920. Why did they? I mean, why, why allow procurement of foreign electric equipment that can be so dangerous to the grid? Do you know why this happened? So, sir, the, right now what the focus is, we have to take a holistic view of supply chain security. Just having an approved and an approved list is not the only way to secure our supply chains. Well, I, but, um, we, but I, I, that may be true. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just wondering that, that why would we allow China, a country that's suspected of numerous cyber attacks, against us supply major components for our electrical grid. I mean, is that a smart thing to do? So again, what we're taking is a more strategic approach to this, to look at all of those different pieces I just mentioned, to ensure we look at security from all different aspects, including security by design, um, is a key component of how we need to tackle this problem. It's too large of a problem to start to 
have one solution, which was the solution in that executive order. Now, that executive order is under review. I defer to the White House in terms of a um, uh, uh, replacement um, executive order, but um, know that this is an area that's a priority for us at the department to ensure the supply chain is secure, and we're doing that very actively. Well, all right, my, my time's expired, and there's lots of my colleagues who want to ask questions. I, I'm going to give these questions to you again for the record. I, I'd like to know what percentage of the grid contains components manufactured in China. And if you don't know, that's fine. I'd like to know when you're going to have your analysis done. I'd like to know what percentage of large power transformers are manufactured in China. And I just humbly submit to you that allowing uh, China, uh, getting procurement of electric equipment made in China and allowing it to be integrated into our grid is a bad idea. And, and I, I'm baffled as to why this administration is allowing it to go forward. I'll probably have some more questions for you for the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. And Mr. Kumar, I think it's fair to say that we would all like to see what our dependency is on China's supply chain, because we're trying to break that immediately, if not quicker. Thank you. With that, we have now Senator Hickenlooper. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair and Mr. Ranking Member. Uh, thank all of you for taking the time and being with us. Uh, let me start with uh, Mr. Lee. Um, and I was intrigued by your suggestion of how we could help infrastructure asset owners and operators. You suggested that the, the U.S.